Well, got a thing here. This looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Do you recognize it, Hina? Well... I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. Thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. Found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. Made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much. I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now they've lost all their flavor. Hmm. Polka dot candy wrapper. Was the candy poisoned? Hmm. Huh. Something's broken over here. Some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... Looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sarka must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. She mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can... It's got a label on it. It says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. What is? Hey. See what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can, they're under also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... Can't say for sure yet. You're probably going to want to take note for it. No of it, brother. Whew. My throat's starting to hurt. It's okay, though. I can soldier through this. Important clue, yeah. Not sure I see how. Hmm. And some stuff over here. What? That's not, that wasn't what I clicked on. I clicked on this shit over here. Shards of glass scattering all around chair soccer was sitting on. Glass is all red. These are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? Must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor. Something else on the ground near the glass. The figure fits in the palm of my hand. Monokuma figure, huh? There was something over there, wasn't there? There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Hmm. Curious. Anything else? Dude. Sakura drew her last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of a blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that would, that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she also... She had also vomited blood. Oh, that must be where she vomited then, over there. I could see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what could have caused her to vomit blood? Mm-hmm. Poison. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Hm. Not a chance. Byakuya. Fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Most interesting, don't you agree? I don't think I'd call it interesting, but it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. I mean, obviously I had to be poisoned. Why are you, why are you dancing around this? Pretty, pretty clear to me. Uh, magazine shelf. Same shelf full of magazines. Uh huh. Same shit. This chair. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so they couldn't get the door open. No evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. No reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Hmm. What about you? What do you have to say? What? You're bothering me. Go away. I'm not even trying to hide how much he despises me. Better go before he crushes my soul completely. However. But for Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, you know, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. But how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? 
I wonder, did something? Did someone get the upper hand? It must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Would have needed to, to if they expected to stand any chance against her. You still haven't figured it out? I mean, it's pretty obvious the poison, guys. Come on. What the heck? We already know who did it. Uh-huh. I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon, the Monokuma file said she died right around then. Telling you the truth, I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, and she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force evid, this never would have happened. Hina. It's impossible not to have regrets. Regrets, I know. I always account. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet up with her, hmm. and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, same time and place she ended up dying, might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then it's true. Hmm. I did receive a note of that to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Hmm. Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it all threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Bioga says he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Come on! If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my set. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Anything else? Hey. Yeet. Yeet. Same shit. Do I need to leave now? Is there something else in here? Hmm. Door doesn't seem to have a lock. There's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smash window. Which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. No evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Having examined the body... Have examined the... Ugh. Excuse me. Whew. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. There was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created a locked room, locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Rec room door. Hmm. Can I leave now? No? Eh. This repeats itself. No. Still one more thing I haven't found. Oh, what is this over here? Hidden away in the corner. The locker's open and there's and they're on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left the handprint in all the dust. It's true. And it looks quite fresh too. Yeah. Say someone was hiding here in the locker. And left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was opened, don't you think? During all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Like, who would it have been? Oh, well, why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. So then, what does this handprint mean? Hmm. Is that everything? Nope, there's still more shit in here. I don't see anything else. Dear. Huh. Already examined all that shit. Oh, didn't see this. Was that lit up before? I swear I would have seen. Whatever. Four red bottles lined up on a shelf. 
inside each bottle there's some kind of Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is how they get those figures inside the bottle. So... Hmm. No different from your standard ship in a bottle. You know where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? Never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So this is a Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Okay. I feel like I'm finally starting... I'm finally starting to make sense of things, little by little. Yeah. The Monokuma bottles sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure was we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit ahead with a Monokuma bottle, right? Shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then... You should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. <laughs> but she's right, I do have to talk- do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with the two- two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Okay. Whew. Man. Okay. Well, uh... Nice save. Save up real quick. Just real quick! Eh. 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 <sighs> Just trying to get comfortable. Jesus. I'm not sure who- at this point, I'm, I'm not sure who it would be. Duh. Coco? Press the doorbell. Hmm. Who's there? The most negative, most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Oh, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? Said you wanted to talk to me about something, right? I wanted to talk to you about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. What? Well... I don't know what you're talking about. Yakia already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master 2? I just said 2, didn't I? <laughs> and now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So you can, can you tell me about it? I admit I did get a note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Until I can prove otherwise. Yeah. Is that good enough? Mm -hmm. That Toko quickly retreated into her room. Mm hmm And, uh... Duh. Where was this dude? Here he is. You know? What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Uh-huh. How'd you know about that? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But, uh, I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaka and Toko to come too. When did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Oh, well... Uh, um... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh... Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. Gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura? You got it all wrong! No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually... Last time I saw Ogre... Ogre... Yeah. Yeah. Was when Hina got hurt. I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here... While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um... Do I still have it? Let's see. He was feeling around in his pockets. Hey, come on! Looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. 
something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Mm. What? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on! Sorry, just a bit of a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash. What? Can't deny that Ogre asked me to asked to meet with me, but I never will. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Ryo quickly slipped back into his room. Ryo said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. So I've heard from Toko and Hiro, um, what next? Mm-hmm. Maybe we should find out more about the protein can we found for the rec room. Yeet. Yeah. Alright, still so fucking fun. <sighs> Shit, man. Shit, dude. Ugh. Just teleport, I guess. Go over there. Chem lab. Right here. <sighs> He's in here, huh? Did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. No, I don't think so. Not with all this. This isn't my first time seeing shell, but I can't get over how big it is. Probably take a closer look at it. Looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now. What's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. Footprints in it, huh? Bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. These are your footprints. And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? You may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. With an unsufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Let's go, chop chop. So I got to work, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. So how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. For me. Hmm. Business on the left, the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. And that's what the footprint tells me. Footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. It's certainly possible. Koto, are they yours? No. What? Then let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. Couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Biakio said. Hmm. Your feet appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit, these are not your footprints. Unfortunately. Hmm. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these prints are a really valuable clue. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Broken bottle. Hmm. Looks like the bottle had a lab label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Why would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words... It could only have been spilled... Could only have been... Could have... Man, I'm getting exhausted. It could only have been around the time of the incident. That really is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder has been added to the Truth Bullets section of blah blah blah. Should probably take a good, hard look at the powder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the remains of a broken bottle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Haven't we already seen all this? Uh-huh. Yeah. On this shelf is... Nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving until unit, shelving unit, section C. Hmm. hmm. Reagents. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. 
Isn't that kind of harsh? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. All right, now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this, I can consider this part of the shelving unit, Section B. Hmm. 